Well, um, there is, in a sense, um, a shortage of foreign exchange, meaning that um, for anybody who wants to get foreign exchange now, uh, it, it's certainly not as easy as it was, um, let us say, four or five years ago. Uh, the, the, the current Minister of Finance, somewhere back in 2015, 2016, instituted a regime uh, whereby the banks were um, basically asked to, uh, I, I want to use the word ration, um, the available foreign exchange, simply because the demand for foreign exchange that we have is exceeding the supply of foreign exchange. The supply of foreign exchange comes mainly from the energy sector, as you might appreciate, the petrochemicals companies, the oil companies, uh, that supply of foreign exchange, uh, a significant portion of which goes through the central bank, has been declining, obviously, because of the decline in the energy sector, which means less flows are coming into the system, uh, whereas um, up until recently, <clears throat> outflows of foreign exchange, that is our demand for foreign exchange, was continuing at a fairly high level. What that meant was that the central bank, therefore, had to, had to make up the deficit and it has been doing that consistently for the last six years. Uh, and as a result of that, our foreign exchange reserves have been falling steadily um, since the last quarter of 2014 from a high of about 11.4, 11.5 billion US dollars down to uh, where it is at the end of February. Uh, we are down to about $6.7, $6.8 billion. Um, so the, the banks have been, uh, I, I use the word rationing, uh, meaning that if you go to the bank and say, I want X thousand US dollars, the bank may tell you we don't have that um, and come back uh, in two weeks uh, for people who want significant amounts of foreign exchange to pay for things. Uh, they have to wait a fairly long time. And also, it happens to be the case that particularly for certain kinds of transactions, for example, payments of dividends, foreign companies who want to remit dividends to their head offices, uh, insurance companies who want to pay for reinsurance, which is critically important for the insurance industry, uh, have found that they have had a lot of difficulty getting the amount of foreign exchange that they need from the commercial banks in a timely fashion.